Hey guys, Kakarot197 again, this time with an unboxing and review of the Wit E Reading Lamp, provided to me by Ben Q. And you might be thinking to yourself, why am I making a video about an e reading lamp? And well, when Ben Q contacted me, they told me this wasn't just a good e reading lamp, but it was also very good for model building purposes. And when I had a look at the features and the specs of this thing, I'm inclined to believe them. So now let's have a look at what we're getting inside of the box. We get an absolutely massive weighted base. That rightfully so <laughs> warns you to definitely not drop it on your foot. I really think this could break something if you drop it on there. Also, don't drop it on anything else. And now that that thing is out and can no longer damage my desk by falling out, let's have a look-see at the quick start guide. We got some service information, which I hopefully won't need. And not only does it tell us how to assemble it, with the clamp available separately, but it even gives us the optimal positions for the lamp for book reading or for screen reading. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell me the optimal position for when I want to use it for model kit building. It does tell us some of the modes like the auto dimming mode, book reading mode, screen reading mode. I'll figure those out in a second. And then on the back, it tells us a few extra things on how to handle it. Be careful with the base. It's very heavy and will damage the thing underneath it, whether it's a finger, a foot, or your desk. Then to make sure everyone can assemble it, we get this little tool included. We get this little box here with all of the various plug adapters. And because I'm of course living around the capital of Europe, I have the European plug pack. There are two mainland ones, which are the ones I'm familiar with. They are slightly different, but typically will go in everything anyways. Then there is an English one and this really weird two-pronged one that I am not familiar with. Let me know in the comments down below which country this belongs to because I've honestly never encountered one of those. Then on to the final and main thing that's in here. It's of course the lamp itself, which also comes with a very nice braided cable. And another main selling point of their lamp is that it has a really wide angle. And that is something I was really missing on my current lamp, which is why this is going to be a very good upgrade. It's also got a very interesting curved design so that it spreads out the light even more. And the assembly itself couldn't be simpler. You just plop it onto the base, screw the hex screw with the included key, and there you go. You can assemble this thing in no time. And now, let's see what it can do. And after extensive testing, all I can say is that I never expected that I'd be this blown away by a lamp. It's not an Amazon's choice and bestseller for no reason. It's fun and easy to use, and most important of all, the quality of the light and the spread of it is really good. Another thing that I totally wasn't expecting is just how satisfying it is to turn on this thing. Normally, I hate touch controls on appliances because more often than not, they feel gimmicky and are just inferior to a button but here it's super responsive and super easy. You just tap this ring anywhere and it turns on. It might still be a bit gimmicky, but it just makes it super easy to turn the light on and off. What's also really easy is changing the light. You simply twist the knob to dim it or make it brighter, and when you push the knob, you switch to color temperature changing mode. Again, you simply twist it to change it. It's simple and just straight up works. Or if you want, you can use one of the two included presets. 
You simply touch the ring for a few seconds and it'll change to e-reading mode, indicated by this green LED, and touch it again for a few seconds to change to screen watching mode, indicated by an orange LED. To change back to your custom setting then, just twist the knob or bop it and voila, instant change. Another important thing for me then was the sturdiness of the joints, because I'm changing this thing a lot between the higher screen watching mode, as illustrated in the manual, and a lower gunpla building mode. And after having been put through the ringer these past few weeks, it's holding up like a trooper. So with its two hinges and a ball joint, it goes exactly where I want it, and it also stays where I want it. The only thing here to keep in mind is that the base is pretty massive, so while it definitely makes this lamp really secure, you'll also need to make sure that it fits on your desk. So here's a quick size comparison with the standard size Gym Custom and the always bulky Zaku 3. So as always, the inevitable question is, do you want to buy this? And as with many of these things, the only thing that'll stop you from buying it is the price tag. With an MSRP of 229 US dollars, it is quite a blow to your wallet. But at the same time, if you spend a lot of time in front of a screen or focusing on building model kits, having top of the line lighting might be a luxury worth investing in. So down below there are some links to read more about the lamp and also buy one for yourself if you're interested. I'm certainly considering getting a second one. So a big thanks to BenQ for sending me one of these and of course another big thank you to the Patreon supporters. I hope everyone watching has a great day and I'll see you all next time.